Today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a switch rod. So basically we have my six weight switch rod. Um, I've already put the backing on because uh, it'll make it easier. But I'll show you how to put the backing on. Um, firstly we'll move to the backing. So from the very start we've mounted the rod or the reel to the rod and we're ready to go. So here we have backing fly reel. Simple situation. All you gotta do is fold it in two, keep the tag end out, make a loop, three times through the loop, one, two, and three, pull it nice and tight. Snip the tag end, there you have a nice loop. Now all you got to do with the loop is put the loop over the spool and just tighten it up like so. And there you have onto the spool. Now what we'll do then is we'll reel up which I've already done, the actual um, backing. Now I use 20, 10 kilo backing and about roughly 80 to 100 meters, especially with the switch rod because it's a light rod, you get a big fish, you gotta be able to come after him, so it's just safer to have roughly between 80 and 100 yards of backing. Right, now, as I said, Here's one I did earlier. That's the one that's ready. Now, all you gotta do is, here's your backing. Now, this is the, this is my fly line. And as you can see, it's got a loop. Now, you can do this two ways. You can loop to loop it, or as I prefer to do, just the same knot. So put it through, form a loop, and three times again one, two, and three. You can moisten if you want, it doesn't really matter. Tighten it nice and tight, make sure it's nice and neat, and then snip. And there you go, backing on, we're ready. So there we have the backing onto the fly line. Now, we'll do this quite fast. So what I do is I just put my finger like so and I feed it across the spool nice and easy. It won't take long. bit of um, permanent marker where my fly my backing or my running line meets my fly line just so when it comes into the top ring I know that's how I need to load it now another little trick is just as it reaches my finger I also have another little mark so I have two set up points so I know exactly where the, the line is at any one time so the moment I see that coming to my finger, I know it's ready to recast. So it's a handy little tip. Now, we'll reel all that up. Now, as you can see, this is a continuous running line to fly line. That's the one I prefer, especially for switch rods. I prefer the continuous rather than the running line loop to loop onto a, a shooting head. Not great because every time you're stripping line in, which you will do with a switch rod, you're going to get dink, dink, dink all the way up, the, up the, the rings and all the way back. So I prefer continuous line. 
I should say running line to shooting head. Now, I'll just finish this off. And there you go. Backing, running line, fly line, thunder rod. Now, the next setup is the sink tip attachment. So, we'll put the the line through the right through the guides again we're just going to do this quite fast right and here we have Fly line. Now, sink tip. This is a real sink tip. Right, here I have the end of the fly line, the end of the sink tip. Now, the clear end is the end that goes to the tippet, the heavy end of the sink tip goes over. The end of the fly line like so and then through it pull it gently and there you go sink tip on the fly line easy to take off easy to put on now the next one is the tippet so I'll show you how to make a tippet knot for your sink tip now, we'll do it with heavy line so you'll understand it. So, sink tip, tip of material. So, all you gotta do is loop it, loop it over itself, and a double overhand knot. One, Two, pull it tight, moisten, pull it down, and there you go. Nice loop. Now what we'll do is snip it nice and neat. Check it again. And all we're going to do is, again, over, and just through it. There you go and loop to loop once again the setup is perfect now all we got to do is attach the fly so we'll do that Right, here we have your fly. The line through the nice and neat through it. Again, simple knot, loop it over, four turn, uni knot. One, two, three, and four. Moisten. Pull it down nice and neat. Again, snip. And there you go. Fly, tip it, sink tip, fly line. All nice and neat. And that's the setup for a switch rod, for my switch rod. Okay, so we'll just reel it up. And there you go, set up for a switch rod.
In my next video, I'll be showing how to present, mend, and track your fly line. And I think personally, these are the most important aspects to successful salmon fly fishing.